Hi, I'm Steven Phillips Horst, and we're sitting at Red Bull Studios in New York City on the eve of Bjorn Melgard's The Purge, an opportunity for gay men and some women to get clothes for free. Will they get what they're after? Will they find what they really need? Maybe not. Yes, correct. I smell weed. Who's smoking? Please don't smoke. I just want to say there is a fire truck and they are hot. Breaking news, someone just thought I was 21. You guys will have three minutes to get inside and take as much as you can with your garbage bags. Um, after that, you'll have to leave. This line just stretches for kilometers on end. There's only a handful of artists in the world who could command this kind of presence. Do you know how to spell Bjarne and Melgard? Uh, I don't really speak English. What can you tell me about Bjarne Melgard? I'm actually fucking his trainer, so... <laughs> no, literally! There's such a variety of people here. Under 30, 30, 32... Like, how long do we have to wait? Like... I mean, it could be hours. Hours? There's a lot of people. Like, hours? Officer! What's up? Are you shopping today? No, we're not. I work here. Oh, oh same. Are you okay? Yeah, like I'm just trying to figure out what to do with my life. Listen, this is your chance. GPR. GPR. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's happening. It's happening. There is designer clothes everywhere. If you've ever been to a bridal sale, it looks something like this. Excuse me, ma'am. So where are you from originally? How many hours away from Charleston is that town? Where's your mom? You dropped you dropped something. Do you want it? Do you want I'll just shove it in there? Yes. What size shoe are those? I don't even know. I just grabbed it and picked it up. What if they don't fit? I can just give it away as a gift. What size waist are you? 28. That's impressive. <laughs> Thanks. Have you always been a 28? Yeah. Same. Yep. Yep. The artist Bjorn Melgard is uh, right over there and he is a hot man and I'm gonna just talk to him um, and it's gonna be very chill. Excuse me, but I, can I ask you a couple questions? Uh, no one is taking the time to sign up for the mailing list, uh, which as an event planner is a huge loss. Are you gonna try and push on the next round just so, as they people leave maybe? No. As you can see, there is a crowd of refugees behind me waiting to enter the building. The question is, will the people at the end of the line leave here empty-handed? Congratulations. You're an architect? Yeah. That's so sexy. Like, did you design the building? No, I designed the, the mall, the, the deconstructivist mall. Are you gay? Sorry. OK, whatever. People came in now hoping there would be clothes, and so many of the clothes have already disappeared. People are looking under cushions. They're looking behind uh, pillars that seem to be covered in asbestos. You didn't find anything? Not really, no. Like a shoe and a blanket? You seem to be holding an empty bag. The shame of an empty bag. Why? It's a site of catastrophe and disaster. Perpetual disappointment, perpetual sadness, perpetual anxiety, perpetual misconnections, lost items. Supply and demand, you guys. At the supply, and everybody's like, I demand to get this stuff, right? Buy and sell. <laughs> Trading. We had to buy. Bjarne Melgard has generously given away hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of designer clothing. Many of them came here today hoping for a piece of the American dream, and they left empty handed. But what they did get was an experience to remember and a peek inside Red Bull Studios, which is a space that you can also go in on any other day. For. Gay Magazine, I'm Stephen Phillips Horst. For Ridgewood Times, I'm Stephen Phillips Horst. For Wig Newspaper, I'm Stephen Phillips Horst. I'm the editor. <laughs>